Let's maximize our recording time with the Zoom F6 multi-track field recorder with the Anchor 747 power bank. I mean, with its ultra high 25,600 milliwatt capacity, I'm sure it can keep this thing powered on for days. Well, to test out this experiment, I personally connected my fully charged Anchor 747 power bank to my Zoom F6 and left it on for a couple days. That's right, not just one, but two, maybe three. After using this battery bank on a few film sets, I can honestly say it served me really well. But as a person with normal human anxiety, even though the battery was doing very well, I still had my worries because once that battery dies, that's game over. I can't use the Zoom F6 anymore. My job is worthless as a sound mixer. So here's the process and how I tested out the battery. To start off, I had my Anchor 747 battery bank hooked up to the Zoom F6 via USB-C cable while only having one audio input active. And that audio input was for the boom microphone. And in order to charge this boom microphone, the one I'm currently using right now, the GDS Mic 2S, I had to use 48V phantom power. Without the phantom power, the microphone will not turn on. With this in mind, I was genuinely curious to see how long the mixer would stay on, considering I'm only using one audio input. But I was using phantom power to power on the microphone, so I'm thinking in correlation to that extra energy, maybe that might drain some of the battery juice faster. Could this extra use of microphone power really make a difference in the battery life? Well, I'll have you know that after two days of watching the battery very closely, <laughs> I found that the status of the mixer was still powered on. I was really impressed, honestly, so I decided to keep things going for a little longer. And after a while, it came to my surprise that the battery was still not wearing down. This is actually a really good thing, because if I'm on a film shoot or recording a YouTube video using one microphone throughout the whole day, this battery will do me a lot of favors. But I wanted to see how far this thing could really go. So I decided to turn things up a notch and connect my Deity Connect Kit, my wireless microphone system, to the mixer and see what the battery could do. So in addition to my boom microphone using phantom power already, now I have my lavalier set, which is wireless audio connected to my Zoom F6 mixer. And now I'm really curious to see how long the battery will last. Perhaps this would kill the battery faster considering I'm now mixing two audio sources with the Zoom F6. To my luck, it only took about another day, day and a half until the anchor battery completely died and my Zoom F6 mixer turned off. But keep in mind, when I first started this experiment, I had the boom microphone connected to the Zoom F6 and the boom microphone was taking phantom power from the mixer. And that was going on for about a good day and a half, two days. So the battery juice was already being consumed. It's just a matter of how much of that battery was being consumed within those days. So even though I wasn't recording anything, the microphones were still receiving audio. And by doing this, that took power from the mixer, which is taking more juice from the battery. And for how long that all lasted, I was very impressed. So what do I think of this whole experiment? Overall, I'd say that the Anchor 747 battery bank extended the life of my Zoom F6 mixer by a pretty wide margin. And I mean, I know for a fact that I wouldn't have been able to record audio for nearly as long had I used an NPF battery to power on the mixer. So this was my experiment testing out the Anchor 747 power bank. But if you had a different experience with the battery, let me know down in the comments below. If interested in using this power bank on one of your productions, then you can find a link to the product down in my video description. And I mean, I know that this power bank is a little pricey, but I mean, again, did you hear my story? Keep in mind that this battery can power multiple electronic devices at the same time, via USB-C and via USB-A. That's pretty awesome. And it recharges pretty dang fast. Anchor has stated too that the battery can be recharged within a good two and a half hours. Now think about that for a second. Two and a half hours, multiple devices. That's incredible. To learn how you can record external audio and synchronize it in post-production, click or tap the video you see right next to me. I hope this video provided you with a lot of value and maybe, just maybe, you found the right battery to power on your mixer. Thanks for watching and let's create some awesome content.